Hello, I'm Tammy Green, your host for I've Got Something to Say. We're here at the McCormick Place at the Chicago Auto Show. They have a lot of automobiles we have never seen before. So let's take a chance and go in and see what they got. Hello Chicago, I'm your host Tammy Green and we're here at the Chicago Auto Show and I'm sitting in a Cadillac Expedition truck. Oh my, you should see the features of this truck. I mean they have indoor, outdoor, anything you want to see. They have a DVD player, they have rear view mirrors moving in and out, up and down. This is just a beautiful truck and I have the chance to be at the auto show in the truck oh this this truck here is magnificent it's beautiful the interior leather so oh, this truck is just something to see oh my gosh I just like the interior the the everything is just beautiful I've never been this close to a, a truck like this a Cadillac truck and it's beautiful I mean the, the armor the, the even the steering wheel will make you fall in love. See how this one tests out because our four-door version of this actually circled the Nürburgring track faster than any four-door production sedan on factory tires in history. It broke an eight-minute lap time. This one right here did that. Not even a professional driver. It wasn't Chuck Norris. Uh, it was an engineer. Knew the track very well. Good driver, obviously. Great driver. He set a world record. But uh, this vehicle will be a little bit different. Now, the two vehicles that I'll get into describing just exactly what the changes are here for the four-door, but. You can start with that nose and a V6 engine with 304 horsepower, 18-inch tires and wheels. 
six-speed sticker automatic and have rear or all-wheel drive on the base coupe for about 40, going up slightly over 50. This one right here is gonna be probably in the mid-60s starting out and probably tail off this one right here pretty loaded up. This would probably be your 75 or in that area, mid-70s finishing. And this one has the hand-built supercharged intercooled 6.2 liter V8 engine that comes in with 556 horsepower. 551 on the torque, does zero to 60 in three nine, the quarter and 12 flat, does 114 in that quarter, tops out at 198 with a stick. I say even downhill, let's get 200 out of that thing. Uh, automatic has the paddle shifting for uh, Formula One inspired and does 185 top speed. I'm Lawrence Hayes and I'm standing here in the Chicago Auto Show floor with the Cook County Sheriff's Department and Steve Patterson. And we want to talk a little bit about what the Sheriff's Office does for the municipalities in Cook County. The Cook County Sheriff's Office provides uh, law enforcement uh, services throughout the county through uh, the Sheriff's Police patrolling the suburbs and uh, unincorporated areas. Uh, we also operate the Cook County Jail, which is the largest single jail in the entire United States. And the third aspect of the operations is securing all the courtrooms in Cook County with our court deputies. And hopefully uh, people get an idea from our display today uh, of all the different services we provide. Okay. Well, we see here in the back, when uh, spectators are looking at some of the um, paraphernalia, some of the municipalities, and can you tell us a little bit about uh, uh, the paraphernalia that says uh, uh, criminal investigation? Sure. Over to our left, we have a display of all of Cook County showing all of the graffiti that our officers have gone out and spray painted off walls and, and buildings. And then in the middle is probably our most popular display we've found so far, and that is what we call our shank board. And that is a board hold showing some of the shanks that we've confiscated from inmates at the jail, and it's all stuff that they've made from materials inside the jail. And uh, people seem to really be fascinated at the creativity and uh, ingenuity of some of the uh, some of the inmates. But um, we also offer uh, a distracted driving and drunk driving uh, course uh, beyond that, and we also have people put on DUI goggles, and it simulates what it's like if you're driving while intoxicated. And, Put the goggles on and you attempt to walk a straight line with an officer. Um, we have a village called Safety Town for all of the kids where they ride go-karts through the little village and they learn stop signs and stop lights and what they all mean. And, and every day we have a different activity. Today we have our canine unit out. People can come out and meet our canine dogs. And yesterday was our hostage and barricade unit and uh, all sorts of activities. Letting people see what the office does for the public. Now, we, are, we were here yesterday, and we noticed that SWAT was here. Tell us a little bit about that. The, uh, the SWAT team was here and allowed people to, uh, to put on some of their equipment, let them feel how heavy a bulletproof jacket is, uh, to hold the battering ram that we use to smash in doors. And those guys are the only unit of its kind in this entire suburban Cook County. So any time there's a standoff or somebody being held hostage, that's the unit that gets called out, and uh, they go all over the county at all hours of the day. So if the viewing public wishes to know or see a crime, how do they contact you? They can contact us through uh, the Sheriff's Department uh, phone number, 
869-7000. They can also go to our website at cookcountysheriff.com and get all the information they need right there. Well, there you have it at the Chicago Auto Show. We've just been talking with Steve Patterson. He gave us a beautiful uh, uh, interpretation of what Cook County Sheriffs do. And we'll get back to you with the rest of the show. Enjoy more. We'll be back. Here. Sure. Uh, I'm Don McClellan. I'm with Chicago Land Speedway and Route 66 Raceway. Uh, we're a racetrack in Joliet, Illinois. Uh, we're here at the Auto Show, just uh, letting people get close to some race cars and uh, you know, handing out some pocket schedules. People come out to the races. Uh, Chicago Land Speedway is a NASCAR IndyCar track in Joliet. It's a mile and a half D-shaped oval. Uh, we race uh, in July. We have NASCAR Weekend. That's the Sprint Cup Series and Nationwide Series. Um, and then in August, late August, we have uh, IndyCar, uh, ARCA, and uh, we also have NASCAR trucks. And um, you know, you can uh, you can come out for either weekend. Uh, we also have Route 66 Raceway. It's a drag strip. Mm -hmm. uh, we have NHRA Nationals. is a great time, early June. Um, we also have Pink's All Out, mm -hmm. um, Speed Channel uh, TV show coming out this year. That's uh, a couple weeks after NHRA in uh, middle of June. Um, it's going to be a great time. We also have a dirt uh, a dirt oval, so we have some uh, some demo derbies. Um, pretty much, you know, if you're into racing of any kind, you can come out to Chicago Land Speedway Route 66 Raceway, and you know you'll have a great time. Well, you all heard it straight from the director, the man that knows everything about this this here. All right, back to you.
This is Lawrence Hayes again, standing here at the Chicago 2010 Auto Show. And we just looked at a 1915 Model T Speedster, which is right in front of us. And also some other Model T's, 1923 Model T Speedsters. There's additional cars, as you can well see, in the arena that's covered. And if you haven't made it to the Auto Show, make sure you make it next year at the Chicago Auto Show 2010 or 2011 at that time. Thank you. Hi, this is Lawrence Hayes at the Chicago Auto Show, and I'm in the fire department display at the uh, auto show. I'm standing here with Jeffrey Shavis of the Chicago Fire Department. He's going to tell us a little bit about some of the programs that they do in the schools and in the high-rise building. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, basically, what we do down here at Public Education, uh, we have the kids come down, and we teach them basically uh, the 10 steps to fire safety, and how important it is to have smoke detectors in your home. So what, 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 what are some of the recent things that they've done in terms of uh, the fire department explaining to people on how they can put smoke detectors and the reason they need to have those? Smoke detectors, uh, what we're doing is, uh, if you need a smoke detector, go to your nearest firehouse and we'll give you a free smoke detector with a working battery in it. And how effective is a smoke detector? It's very important. Every home needs one on every level of their home to make sure if there's smoke that they get out of their house safely. Um, that's it. Okay, so as you've just heard from Mr. Chavis that every home needs a smoke detector. So please visit your local fire department and get one. Thank you. And we'll be back. This is the high performance version of the newest member of the Buick family, 
the 2011 Buick Regal. Sleek design, European road manners, sporty interior, smart technologies, and available turbocharged horsepower, it's easy to see why Regal is ready to take on the best import sports sedans in this segment. Short overhangs and wheels pushed to the corners, Regal has a firm, aggressive stance. Superior fit and finish, select use of chrome, and a contemporary take on the Buick signatures like the waterfall grille give Regal a refined, tailored appearance. This sweeping design motif continues on the inside where you will find an ergonomic, intuitive, and driver-centric environment. The ice blue backlighting of the instrumentation, reminiscent of an expensive sport timepiece, the thick rim leather wrapped steering wheel, tilted telescopes, and comes complete with accessory controls. Now for some of those smart technologies, we have Bluetooth, XM, and OnStar all standard. There's an available seven speaker Harman Kardon audio system, a USB port for your digital music player, voice activated navigation, 10 gig hard drive. In fact, the Regal has something called Time Shift Radio, so the vehicle can pause and play back up to 20 minutes of your radio entertainment if you're busy attending other matters. Hello Chicago, we're here at the Auto Show in Chicago 2010. Well, I'm here in front of the camera, in front of a BMW. Oh my, it is magnificent. Look at the color of the car. Look at it, it's even a drop top. No top, look. I love BMWs. These are the most fastest cars in the world. Hello Chicago, I'm your host Tammy Green. We're here in Chicago at the Auto Show. I'm here in front of this beautiful, gorgeous Beetle convertible final edition. Okay, well, the Beetle is, it, I love the color of it. It's blue and white and it's a convertible drop top magnificent. And Chicago, I'll be back with you. Hi, this is Lawrence Hayes and I'm at the 2010 Chicago Auto Show and I'm standing here with the state police Trooper Claire Fotenhauer, P-F-O-T-E-N-H-A-U-E-R. And can you, Claire, tell us a little bit about what the state does? 
The Illinois State Police, we govern all the Illinois highways as well as any road that is a state route in any jurisdiction. The State Police has jurisdiction throughout the whole state. We will go in and we will supplement and support any local or county municipality that needs assistance as well. Okay, and if people want to know a little bit more about and how to reach you, what do they go or call or email? Well, you can go online and you get Illinois State Police and our whole website comes up and it leads you as well to, you know, our different divisions of, you know, Forensic Science, our uh, Central Management Services, which hires code personnel as well. All the links are there to get you to it once you go to Illinois uh, ISP.gov. Okay, and behind us there's a display here. Can you tell us a little bit about what this display is and what it tells the viewing public? Absolutely. At the one part over here, back here we have about how to transport your gun uh, legally. You know, so many people go hunting, you know, or they're just going to shooting range. They want to know the proper ways. We have it there. Then we go on to bike safety. It's, as our display shows, we have motorcycle safety, but we also, you know, the pedestrians. With gas fuel prices going up so much, everybody wants to go on their bike and, you know, it's a little healthier. So we talk about that. Here is our motorcycle safety. Motorcycle, again, because the gas prices is on the increase. We have crashed motorcycles to show you the problems of it as well. We have brochures on that. This is the fatality. Our fatal fatalities have actually gone down. So we want to broadcast that, that you know what? It's the police are doing that their, their job, you know, with enforcement and all the different programs that are out there that um, it's correct and the fatality is going down this year. Then we have our child safety seats and our seat belts. The law had changed that anybody um, under eight years old needed to be in some type of restraint. We did give you a description as to what it is. Seatbelt is a primary offense, therefore you can be stopped by the police and be issued a citation for it. So we just are advertising that because those are the really problems that the uh, roadways are seeing today. Well, that's what your Illinois State Police is doing in the state of Illinois. And if you need more information, as she said, you can reach them at... Illinois State Police right on the internet or you can email, like my personal email is uh, P as in Paul, F as in Frank, O as T E N C at isp.state.il.us and I am the Safety Education Officer for District Chicago. Okay, well again we're at the 2010 Chicago Auto Show. We've just got through talking with Illinois State Police and we'll be back. Mm. Hi, this is Lawrence Hayes, Power TV. I'm standing here at the Chicago Auto Show with the Red Cross, and it's one of its recipients, and this is Tammy. Tammy Winchester with Red Cross Blood Services. And we're here to, if you want to donate blood, you can come and donate blood. Now, what I'm standing with her is the Dennis C. Buckley, and that's a Memorial Blood Drive Foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, we've been collecting blood here at the Auto Show since 1999. Dennis Buckley um, was a part of the Chicago Auto Trade, and he requested for Red Cross to come in, and we've been doing it ever since. He's no longer with us, so we this is a memorial blood drive in his behalf. And, of course, there's two huge buses here, and these buses are used uh, to do what? Well, the donors are actually going in to donate blood. They're self-contained units. So in each bus, you have four beds and two health histories, and that's where the donors go in and physically donate blood. Now, recently, we know about the Haiti situation with the people uh, from the earthquake, and we know that Red Cross <laughs> uh, has been helping them. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, we have deployed volunteers in Haiti um, and helping um, shipping food and water. Um, we are sending some blood, but not a lot, but we have um, set our presence in, in Haiti. Well, if you want to support the Red Cross, this is the number that you would call? There's 1-800-GIVE-LIFE, and you can also go to www.redcross.org. Okay, viewers, help our country give blood. This is our self-contained unit. The four beds here where your donors actually lay on the beds and donate blood. You have two stations back here. Excuse and me. this is the team, the Red Cross team, that's operating this bus for today. You have donors that come in and go through their health histories. And there's donors in there now. We've just concluded a um, kind of a tour of the buses that they use to take blood for the from the patients uh, that are coming in to donate blood. And Tammy, can you tell us a little bit about uh, where does the blood 
go, where is it stored? Okay, once we take the donation, one donation can possibly save three people's lives. Red cells, platelets, and plasma. Red cells is good for 42 days. And once that blood is tested in type, then we store it um, until we distribute it to that particular patient that's in need. Mm -hmm. And I know it's a, there's concerns because of uh, HIV, things like that. Uh, do you have a screening process and what happens with that? Well, the, the, we do pre-screening at, at the registration table. This is an honest system, so we hope people be honest and they screen themselves out. Once they go through the actual process, then we take the blood back to the laboratory, continue to test the blood and filter the blood, test it and type it before we distribute it to a patient in need. And can you tell us a little bit about uh, how many locations does Red Cross have in the city of Chicago and in, in the suburban areas? Well, we don't, Red Cross, we don't have fixed sites where you can go in and donate blood. We look towards our sponsors to have open blood drives such as this, where donors can come in and donate and not make appointments. We prefer appointments, but this is an open blood drive. We do not have fixed donor sites, American Red Cross. We don't solicit our donors because we like to keep our donors within their donor uh, pool, if we can say, or their, their own environment. And if someone wanted to, after seeing this show, donate blood or contact you, uh, how would they go about doing that? Again, they, sh they can go on our website, um, www.redcross.org or 1-800-GIFT-LIFE, and they can put in their zip code, and it will have a list of the open drives for a donor within the metropolitan area to go donate blood. Okay, well, there you heard it from Ms. Winchester. And we're at the Chicago Auto Show 2010 at the Red Cross. Thank you.
Hello, Chicago. We're here at the auto show. Oh my, I am in my dream car. The Mercedes Benz Jeep truck. Oh my, and I have someone here. May you uh, tell me your name? Yes, my name is Gary Kangles. And I'm here with my friends today and we're uh, enjoying the auto show. And we're looking at Jeeps and trucks and Mercedes and BMWs. And, what was your and, favorite? Uh, my fa I, I love BMWs. Oh, and, uh, I, you know, there's about two or three B dubs I like a lot, but I like Mercedes too. Like me, I'm a big guy. This is a little tight. A little it's, tight. A little tight, you know. I need a big car, like a 7 Series Beamer or, you know, maybe the 550 Mercedes, something like that. This is more of a woman's car. I think so. You yeah. look good. It's a good size for you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this is Tammy, and I'll get back at you later on at the auto show. All right, I'm standing here with Officer Pacetti from the Cook County Sheriff's Department with one of their dogs um, that they use in their investigations. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what the dog does? Uh, Melanie here is a 100% bloodhound and what she is is a tracking dog or what we call in our field man trailer and she is sent specific to where once she's presented that person's odor that's the only person and odor she goes to look for. Uh, I've, I've heard that these dogs track down seniors and children and uh, just from their scents? Correct. Uh, it doesn't matter if they're good or bad. Whatever order I present to her, she doesn't know if they're good or bad. That's all she wants. It's a game. That's what she wants to do. And her reward is locating that person. Young, old, uh, female, male, does not matter. Okay. And one of the other things is how long do you use the dogs before they go into retirement? Uh, Melanie's got a long way to go. She just turned two years old. Uh, I acquired her when she was two months old and we've been training ever since. And barring any major health reasons, I'd have to say she might work until 10 to 14 years old. All right. And, and the Sheriff's Department, uh, do they have more dogs than just bloodhounds, uh, like German Shepherds? Yes, we have German Shepherds. We have a breed called a Malinois. I also have a patrol dog that's a Malinois. And... Uh, we have uh, Labradors, and uh, there's a pit bull. Okay. Well, again, we're standing here with Office Pacetti. He just told us about Melody, the blood-sniffing dog. And we'll get back to you with more at the Chicago Auto Show. We're here in Chicago at the auto show, and we're here talking to one of the main guys of B96. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. What's going on, Chi-Town? My name is Eric Brown from the B96 Street Team. We are here today for Chevy, giving away the Chevy Camaro by the Chicago Blackhawks. We've got a registration going on here online for your chance to win the Chevy Camaro right over there in red. But today, B96 is here broadcasting live every day here at the auto show. We have our afternoon jocks by the name of Styles and Roman who broadcast live from 2 to 7. Also, we have a DJ that spins by the name of Josh R. from the Noon Kaboom from noon to 1 p.m. 
Also, you can see DJ Flipside, Flipside at 5, weekdays on B96, spinning live here at the Auto Show. So as you can see, we have a lot going on in store for everyone here in Chicago. Check it out, the 2010 Auto Show. So we, right now, we have Talking Back with Jaime, Dougie Styles for the Styles and Roman Show. So if you'd like to see what's going on here, check out the footage. We're glad you guys come on out to the Auto Show. It's going to be going on till Sunday. So make sure to come out and check us out here at the Chevy Front Kids Fun area in the South Building here at the McCormick Place. Thank you, and we're back at you. First question right here. Who can fit in a, Put your hands down. Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to ask you guys trivia questions. If you raise your hand, you answer correctly, I call on you, you get a t-shirt. Fair enough, right? Yeah. First person to raise their hand that can fit in a small t-shirt. There you go, baby. All right, see? I told you these questions are going to be tough today. What? She had her hand up first. If you want to argue with her, feel free. She's eight. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm here all night. I don't care. <laughs> all right. First person to raise their hand, answer the question. I didn't ask the question though yet. Put your hands down. How many tires are on a Chevy Camaro? Right here. Mr. Dome. Mr. Dome. Four. There you go. Hope that size fits you there, buddy. All right. When you're driving a Chevy Camaro, yes? No, that was last time. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, here's the question. What's the what's the mirror called that you look in to see in back of you? Right here in the white shirt. What is it? Rear view mirror. There you go. I told you these were going to be tough questions. One more t-shirt right here, okay? One more t-shirt. If you can't fit in a large, you can't, you can't participate. So I need you to leave, you to leave, you to leave. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm joking. Who can raise their hand and tell, put your hands down, and tell me what are our names on the radio? Oh, that was a shot in the face. You? Styles, there you go. Styles of Roman, there you go, baby. Congratulations. Everybody else, we got some more free stuff.
Exato. Chicago. I'm Tammy Green, your host for I've Got Something to Say. Well, this is the end of the auto show. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. See you next year. Bye. <laughs>